Hey guys, what's going on? In this video today, I'm gonna be showing you guys what are the best settings for GeForce Now in March 2021. This guide will be in two parts since the recent updates have been really massive. So, there is a lot to change and keep up with in the application. So if you are new around here, make sure to do leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Help me reach 20k subscribers as soon as possible. I'm working really hard to get these guides to you guys. Alright, did I ever tell you guys about Pi Coins? No? PyCoins is the world's first mineable cryptocurrency that you can mine on your mobile phone. All you have to do is download this simple application and click on this mine button right over here and you will start mining PyCoins. It's really that simple guys. You don't have to worry about anything. Since this application uses cloud mining, you can mine the PyCoins simply being AFK without even doing a thing. Also, since it is cloud mining platform, you don't have to worry about damaging your phone. All you have to do is download this application from the link in the description below and use code BearFoxYT while sign up and this will give you one free Pi coin every time you sign up. Also guys, uh, value of one Pi coin in the next few years will be somewhere around 100 to 200 dollars. So all you have to do is just wait for it and mine free Pi currency. That's all you have to do. So, without wasting up any further ado, just download the application. Links are in the description below. And in this video, we're gonna be covering update notes and fixing lags and delays, network issues, PC performance, and unnecessary error codes. So, if this guys help you in any means, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It really means a lot to me. In the next video, we're going to be covering latency fix, enabling 5G on the PC, uh, the best server selections, and fixing irregular stutters and blurs. So, if you guys want that video really soon, make sure that we hit 125 likes on this video itself. Just go drop a like, and without wasting up any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to be talking about the update notes. So if you have changed your keyboard to a non-English keyboard, you can now input alphabetical keys during the stream. So uh, earlier it was an issue that you can't get alphabetical stuffs on the keyboard, but now you can do it even if you're using a non-English keyboard. Also, there are going to be correct filters applied when you switch from Ansel to Freestyle. Uh, sometime that happened when you start GeForce now, your colors were inverted. So this is the bug fix that they have released. And then you won't see infinite spinner in the feedback dialog box if you lose your network connection. So that is fixed again. Also, the settings page will not be freezing after pausing, I mean after pressing the snap snap button while using the Ansel. So again, that's a great fix that people want. Their settings were freezed. And also GeForce Now will be updating properly without crashing. And even in the Mac now, they are going to be really, really simple to operate and really smooth. So you can click relaunch now after updating and that will be really good to go. Also, you can now change your preferred in-game store language settings. Also, you can choose your preferred in-game store like Epic Games or Steam uh, while launching the game. So, we earlier had an issue where we can't launch games from Steam or from Epic dedicatedly. So now, for the second time, they have fixed it. Moving ahead to fixing lags and delays, over here we have some settings guide to it. First of all, open up your GeForce now and go to your settings. Over there, I'm going to be showing you guys some internal settings that you have to change over here. So as you guys can see, um, for the server location, we're going to be covering in the next video itself. So for this video, just keep it on auto because it's a really big part if you want to watch it even though i have made a guide previously but i'm going to be updating that guide really soon so yeah you can click on the i button on the top right section of your screen or go to the link in the description below for choosing best ever for you guys i'm going to be leaving it to auto right now then the streaming quality go to custom and over there use 20 mbps then the resolution go to 1280 by 720 the frame rate go to 60 frames per second and adjust for poor network connection just turn it on make sure that you have the vsync and discord rich presence turn off 
Now these are some in-app settings. Now what you have to do is go and open GeForce now. And over there what you have to do is open file location. Just go to the file location. And once you are here what you have to do is you search for GeForce now.json. All you have to do is right click and edit on that. If you can't see edit over there what you have to do is right click on that. Go to properties and make sure read only is unchecked. When you see the read only is unchecked you can go open with and use notepad. Now once you are here guys what you have to do is the NVG FN accelerator I'm gonna be showing you guys what to do with it just put it on 10 if you have a low spec PC and if you have a high spec PC you can go for 11 for me I can go for 11 but for you guys you have to go to 10 because it's more stable for your computer and then just scroll all the way down and make sure that the SDL HIDPI is true and then the configurable is true Now once done with that, I guess that's all. What you have to do is hit Ctrl S and close this thing and open up GeForce Now back again. Now once you are here, just go run into your settings and you guys can see the direct mouse input option below the keyboard layout. All you have to do is just turn this thing on and that's gonna be really good to go. Alright guys, now I'm gonna be showing you guys fixing network issues related to geforce now so you can try multiple things i'm going to be showing over here to fix your network and get the best stream quality what you have to do is open up your control panel and over there go to network and internet and sharing center and over there you have to click on this ethernet i have suggest you guys use a wired internet not a wireless internet because wired internet is advantageous in a lot of means all you have to do is just click properties over here and then what you have to do is find this internet product called version now over there I'm gonna be showing you guys two of the best DNS servers one is 8.8.8.8 .8 alternate 8.8.4.4 this is Google uh, DNS server and the other one is 1.1.1.1 1 .1 and the alternate is 1.1.0.0 1 .1 .0. so you see you now you can see both the DNS right on the screen use these following DNS and close your settings Another thing that you can do is go to your command prompt and type in ipconfig slash flush dns. Now once you're done with that, it will show you windows ip configuration successfully flush the dns uh, resolver cache. So once you're done with that, it actually removes the cache files that are you know slowing down your internet. Now the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is go to your settings, type in network reset. What you have to do is reset your internet, click yes and then restart your PC. Also another application I'm going to be telling you guys what you have to do is download NetLimiter from your browser. All you have to do is install NetLimiter from the link in the description below and wait for it for the installation to get completed. Once installed with it, what you have to do is hit run. Once you have opened your GeForce Now, what you have to do is open your NetLimiter and you might see GeForce Now right over here. What you have to do is uh, right click on that and go and hit add rule. Over there what you have to do is the rule type should be limit or you can go for priority and over there put the priority on high. Once you're done with that, just hit OK and then close. Now that will put GeForce Now on the higher priority while using your internet. So this is again a really good method that you guys can use. The net limiter is free to download but you can use it for 14 days. But before the expiring, you can either buy the application, it's a really great app I must suggest. Moving ahead, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your PC performance. There's going to be a really simple guide to it. All you have to do is follow all these steps. First of all, what you have to do is press Windows and R and then type in percentage temp percentage. Once done with that, you can see a folder like this. All you have to do is Control A and delete everything you guys can see. Just hit continue for all the items and then it will delete now you have to skip some items because they are currently in use so all you have to do is just skip all those items that are currently in use and delete everything other than that now these are the only files that are being used in the computer right now so i feel it's really great 
Next step is what you have to do, open up your settings and then just go and search for background apps. Now all you have to do is just turn off background apps that it won't let other background apps run so you get the better performance in your computer. Next up is something called timer resolution. I'll be leaving a link to this application in the description below. All you have to do is just or, or come to this application and then hit maximum and then close the application. That's all you have to do. Next up is press control shift and escape together and go to your processes and just close unwanted applications that you don't want to interrupt while pl playing games. So I guess that's a really good way to reduce your um, PC usage. I feel so. Next step is what you have to do is go to your control panel, go to startup section and disable the applications that you won't be needing while your computer starts. So as you guys can see, I have enabled only those applications that I require when I start my computer. Next up is what you have to do is go to your control panel and over there go to the search bar and type in power. Now over there go to power options and over there you have to go to high performance. Next step is only for the Nvidia graphic card owners. If you own any kind of graphics card what you have to do is right click and go to Nvidia control panel. Now here. Now here, go to manage 3D settings, make sure that you have GeForce now running in the uh, background. Now over there what you have to do is select a program, all you have to do is just click on this NVIDIA GeForce now, you can, you can see the logo over here. And use the following settings, the, uh, the anti-aliasing FXAA is off, settings, and has, just, just copy all these settings that I'm going to be scrolling down. Alright, once done with that, it's going to be fixing a lot of your PC optimization issues. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix unnecessary error codes. All you have to do is go to the file location back again and over there what we'll have to do is just go to GeForce Now JSON, hit edit and from GX11 all you have to do is just click on GeForce. You know, you have to just change your DNV GFN accelerator to DX10. Or if this doesn't work, what you have to do is reinstall the application via VPN. You have to use a VPN or you can either hard delete the application. That means just delete every single file that you have. Just shift delete and hit yes and it's going to be good to go. Alright guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked it. If you do, make sure to do leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Also guys, help me reach to get 20,000 subscribers ASAP. It encourages me a lot to make more videos of this. See you guys in the next video. Until then, download Pi as I told you in the beginning. And stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.